Okay, this video is going to help you understand what you need to know for quarter number three. I'm going to have you write down the magic words. There's five of them. And then try one that I have you do on your own. So this guy, starting at three on this y-axis, put my first dot right there. And then looking at this number in front of x, which is my rate of change number, if it's written as a fraction, use that fraction to tell you how many boxes from that dot three, you're going to the right and then up to get your next point. Right two, up one. Right two, up one. Be able to stair step opposite way. Left two, down one. Left two, down one. Be able to draw that line with a straight edge. Put arrows on each side of that line to show that that line is going on forever. First word is blue. Blue. All right, graphing this one in red, starting at seven on the y-axis, and then negative three over two, I have you write it like this with that negative on top, which tells you that you're going right two, down three from that starting point. So from seven, right two, down three, right two, down three, be able to stair step opposite way, left one, up three, be able to take a straight edge, and draw a line through those coordinates, those points. Draw an arrow on each side of your line to show that that line is going on forever. Second word is puppy. Puppy. Thanks for listening. All right, and then that coordinate right there where they touch looks like the coordinate right two for X, up four for Y. That is the solution to four. If I had to do my check, I would plug in four for my y and two for my x to see if that would work that should work all right next problem i'm going to have you try on your own graph this one already solve for y there's your y intercept there's your slope number graph these and show me the point and write the coordinate where they touch all right next concept and next word next word is wave wave all right today's concept or this week is linear combination where you're stacking them, not having to worry about solving them for y to get that y by itself to graph, stacking them. But then to know that if I stack it the way I have right here, nothing eliminates. So I'm gonna do that little adjustment to make an equivalent equation to get one of these to eliminate. I'm gonna take this top one and multiply everything by negative one. I'm gonna distribute that negative one. Then I'm gonna rewrite it. So rewrite both. I have negative x plus two y equals six. And on the bottom, plain old x plus three y equals four. And then right there, now I'm gonna plus them and the negative x's eliminate. Next word is cat, cat. And then I'm adding the 2y and the 4y or 3y to get 5y. 6 plus 4 gives me 10. And then right there, dividing by 5 gives me the y number, which is 2. Knowing that that goes in the y spot for your coordinate, not the x spot. And then when I do my check or when I do the next part to find x, I'm taking that y number, which is 2, and plugging it in for y. So I have x plus three, and where that y used to be, I'm plugging in that two number, which I know y is for the matching coordinate, gives me four, and solve that for x. Gives me six right there, and then first step, I'm gonna take away six on both sides to get that x coordinate, which is negative two. So that is my solution coordinate. If I was to check it, I would be plugging in negative two right here and plugging in two right there. That would work. And also plugging in negative two right here and plugging in two right there. That should work for both. All right, last problem. I want you to try this one on your own where this one I suggest eliminating one of these Y's by picking a row either top or bottom to times it by negative one. That's my suggestion for that one. All right, last word is ocean 
motion. Thanks for listening. Turn in this homework. Next class meeting, please don't share these words.